Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from the Lost Isle Zoo here on the Zawa Together server. Now, uh, we have a special episode today. I am digging on this volcano right now, and it's going to take some time. Alright, so instead of just doing an exhibit like we usually do every single episode, we're going to change it up a little bit. We have some very, very talented and knowledgeable people here on the server playing. A lot of fun people that know a lot of things about animals. I am not one of them. I do build a lot of exhibits, but every single time I have to look up the animal and uh, do a little research. You'd think by now, after building... I don't know, 200 or more episodes or 200 more exhibits that I probably know a thing or two about animals, but my memory sucks, all right? So <laughs> so I am not what you call a knowledgeable person when it comes to animals. However, Mad Bulldog on the server is fairly knowledgeable, and he com uh, compiled a group of uh, questions so that we can play a little Jeopardy game. And now uh, the whole server logged on, at least everyone that was available, and we went out and we started playing some Jeopardy. So while I'm digging out this volcano, check out how all of that went. Okay, so welcome to the Zawa Together server's first ever uh, game show, Animal Jeopardy. Um, so, uh, <laughs> yay, enthusiasm. Hey! Before I get into the rules, let's introduce our beautiful guests. For the first round, we have Orskull. Hello. We have the um, uh, Tarantula Killer, Grimer. Heck yeah. <laughs> we have Tinnikin. <laughs> yeah, all right. So um, basically how the game works is it's very similar to regular Jeopardy in real life. There are four categories behind me. In this green section is all about the reptiles. In this uh, red section is all about birds. This uh, yellow section is all about mammals, and then in this blue section is aquatics. The signs are a little hard to see, so I was using That's the anti block That's signs nice for this. You can zoom in and read it. Yeah, okay. That's awesome. All right. I'm glad that works <laughs> out. Uh, in each category, there are a different number of points. The lowest amount being 50 here to 100 to 150 to 200, and then the most amount of points, 250. Uh, behind each points are different questions. The uh, more the point are the points are worth, the harder the question is. After I'm done reading off the question, uh, the contestants will press their button to light up their lamp. Whoever lights it up first gets to answer the question. If they answer correctly, they get the points. If they answer incorrectly, they don't get the points, and someone else can buzz in and try to steal. So, is there uh, any questions? Can we hit each other's buttons? No. <laughs> Can we hit each other? Can we hit each other? Sometimes. After. After. <laughs> There's going to be two rounds. So the first round is you guys. And then there will be a second round. And then the top three out of the six contestants, whoever has the most amount of points, gets the prizes. So uh, the way we're going to choose who goes first will be determined uh, based on how many uh, pets you have in real life. So, just give me a number of how many pets you have, and then whoever Four. has the most. Do my do my sons count? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, dang they it. They don't. You so, or? The they Four don't. of them. Four. All right, Four. Grimer. One. One. So, I have two cats and about, like, 500 worms in a worm box that I used for composting. Does that count? She wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've, uh, we'll, we'll count that. So, Tinikin, you can go ahead and choose a category and the amount of points you would like to go for. Okay. Um, let's start with birds and 150. 150, all right, going pretty big. What is the closest relative to the chicken? Grimer. I didn't actually know when I rung and I was just wanting to be first. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, uh, a pheasant? No. Yeah, I didn't know that. Finn. Uh, the T-Rex? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> really? It's a T-Rex? So 150 points to 10. <laughs> uh, Tinikin, since you got that correct, you get to choose again. I don't know. Let's do Reptiles 100. I feel reptiles like there's something 100. closer than a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for 100 points, multiple. Cho this is a multiple choice. Uh, did you know reptiles have a multi-chambered heart? How many chambers are there? Is it A, two? Is it B, just one? Or is it C, three? Or is it D, four? I didn't even Hammer. need the... <laughs> or... What? Three. 
three chambers? Mm hmm. You're correct. He would know. He's yeah. got the reptile. <laughs> <laughs> I read an article about some guy. It was labeled he had a snake heart because he, only, he was born with three chambers. Some crazy oh. stuff. And he wow. did. It wasn't figured sure. out until he was like 40. This is probably a bad time to tell you guys. I don't actually know much about animals. <laughs> <laughs> okay so or you get to pick your next category aquatic 100 Ooh, oh that'd be really embarrassing <laughs> if the host died on this <laughs> so multiple choice the only fish that have eyelids are a whales b sharks c catfish or d skates Grimer. Grimer. Skates. Skates? Yeah. Incorrect. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be or, I think. Or? Uh, sharks. Indeed. They have eyelids? That is correct. <laughs> yeah. that is how many you points? You haven't seen that? That's why great whites, when they breach, their eyelids close. Oh. Or you're on a streak. Go and pick again. <laughs> Reptiles, 150. What is the world's deadliest snake? Is it A, King Cobra? Is it B, Inland Taipan? Or is it C, Coral Snake? Or D, Banded Crate? Tenekin chimed in before the question was finished. All right, go um, ahead, Tenekin. Well, actually, I, I thought it was the Black Mamba, but in that case, it is the, the fourth one, the, the Crate, the Banded Crate. That is incorrect. Ah, dang it. Uh, or was the next one after that? King Cobra. Incorrect. Oh, oh. Uh, I, I, I actually don't remember what the other other two options were. I just want to do uh, that. Can we part. read? Do you uh, want me to read it again? I don't know if it matters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, C. C. That's incorrect. Dang no it! I had a 50-50 shot, Tinnika. Dang it! Ah, uh, dang it! <laughs> the answer was inland Taipan. Since you know what, Grimer, you can pick. Since really? no one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, of course. We're, we're going to go with mammals for 50 because let's start off easy. All right. <laughs> what color is a polar bear's skin? Is it A, black? Is it B, brown? Is it C, white? Or is it D, pink? Uh, so Tin and Or originally, like when you were at, uh, question, at, asking the question, chimed in at the exact same time. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Fight to the death to figure out who answers it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's uh, d uh, d uh, d uh, I got a beer cap here. We can flip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Sure. If it lands, if it lands upwards, it's or. If it lands upside down, it's tin. Or skull. Black. <laughs> Black is correct. <laughs> I actually, and that's 50 I, feel, to or? I feel so honored, even though I didn't get any points, because I actually knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> How about we have Mad Dog finish the question before everybody hits the button? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, getting <laughs> aggressive. That okay. was deserved. Okay. <laughs> or Skull, go and pick again. Um, Mammals 100. A cat mainly sweats through their, is it A, ears, oh, sorry. <laughs> B, <laughs> paws, C, knees, or D, skin? I just saw Tinnikin get smacked off camera. Was uh, Grimer first? <laughs> their ears. Grimer? Ears is incorrect. Dang it! Orsco, why? <laughs> uh... Maddie, did you see if one of them hit faster than the other? Because to me, it looked no. like the same. It, it looked the same. I got a beer cap here. Here we go. Or skull. <laughs> <You're up>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, through their paws. <laughs> Tinnikin's really showing her rage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. I knew that one. He said or pause. skull, go he ahead. Said, he said paws. Through their paws. He said paws. Paws? That is correct. I'm sure it's not their ears. Could be their ears, right? Well, they it, do use their ears to regulate temperature as well, but they don't really sweat the ears. I feel it's like I'm horribly uh, out knowledge up here. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, that's how I'd feel too. <laughs> I'm going to sweep the 250s. It's going to be incredible. Birds 250. Oh, he's calling me out right Birds away. I was going to let it ride for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> 
What will a penguin do to make sure the water is safe from predators? Is it A, throw rocks in the water? B, push a penguin in the water? C, sacrifice one of their eggs? Or D, making a squeaking noise to see if there is a response? Grimer. Push another penguin in the water. That is correct. Yes! Hey! I saw that meme. I saw that video meme where he slaps them into the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grammar's on Pretty the phone. Gruesome, oh, boop, boop. Points. Oh, Grammar, I get to go. go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Ow. All right. We're, we're going to keep this train rolling. Then. Uh, I don't want to do reptiles because Orsco will crush me in it. Uh, mammals, 250. <laughs> mammals. All right. Going big numbers. Currently, or number. is it 350? I'm almost Grammar is at 250. And Tin is at, is at 150. <laughs> Okay, give me one sec. We're gonna try something real quick. Here, just put these on, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is a marsupial? Give an example of one. I thought the question. Hey, I thought the question was already over. I was gonna say, or, or did hit it fa uh, faster, but the question wasn't completely over. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go. Nobody else is pushing it. So. Um, a marsupial is a small mammal, right? That's like kind of humanoidish, like a, like a small little monkey. Name an animal, and then you name one. Small little monkey. <laughs> so no, that is not a marsupial. I think you're thinking of a marmoset. Yeah, that could be. <laughs> Me and Tin are just hitting the button. Who was it? I think Tin hit it first. Okay. So Tin marsupial boy. is an is an animal that has a pouch. For example, the kangaroo. Yes, that is correct. Those are kind of like small yes. mammals. <laughs> I was wondering where you're going with that with the small animal. I'm like, Where's go? Yeah. I didn't actually know. <laughs> All right, Tin again. Whenever you're ready. Boots for two hundred. What is a group of geese called? Is it A, gaggle? Is it B, swarm? Is it C, peep? Or is it D, parliament? Grammar. Gaggle. Yes, <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> now what's a group of turkeys gaggle. called? Oh wait, that gaggle. might be a question. Never mind. Don't don't answer that. Let's uh let's give uh let's give aquatic a little bit of love over here and let's do aquatic two hundred. Oh. We're all good. We're doing good. We're doing great. We're doing great. Everyone's okay. watching in suspense. <laughs> a clownfish will do what to ensure they will reproduce? Or um, clean themselves. Incorrect. Tin. Uh, change genders. Yes, that is correct. That's crazy. I was gonna yeah, say so... like I mean, grooming. It's pretty. It's. <laughs> It's pretty cool. So if there's a group of just male clownfish and they want to reproduce, one will change their gender so they could reproduce. Yes, science. Um, yeah, that went well with the aquatic. Let's do uh, 250. Got to stretch for this one. <laughs> <laughs> really going for it. Swing the arms back and forth. There we go. So this one is an interesting question because everyone gets to answer. But Tin, Ooh, since whoa. you picked, you get to uh, you get the pick it first. All right. Okay. So <laughs> you just get the points. Uh, so everyone answers. Closest number wins. How many volts of electricity can an electric eel produce? Oh, I knew. Uh, I've read this one before. Twenty thousand. I'm okay. gonna say. Eight hundred. Primer. Eight hundred, and then Orskull. Four eighty. Four eighty. So the answer is up to 600 volts. So that would be... <laughs> or was the closest one then. Th so or, or would be... Or yeah. me and Grammar said 800. Yeah, so he was only 100 yeah. off, so... Yeah. I was just yeah, going off my little bit of electrician knowledge. Do they, they use those the electricians? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you kind of out of power here. Let me go get my eel. So, or since you got that, you can go. Uh, reptiles 50. So currently, Orr and Tin are both at 600 points, and Grimer is at 450. I'm actually Fun not fact. doing too bad. 
What is the upper part of the shell of a turtle called? Is it A, carapace? Is it B, plastron? Is it C, cap? Or is it D, silica? That would be a 10. Did you just poop out an egg? That was 10. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I would say... Passively. Don't pay attention Carapace? to the back. Pardon? Carapace? Yeah? Is correct. Actually, I was going to guess that, but I was totally mesmerized by the egg that just... Popped up. <laughs> <laughs> that was which one again? Sorry. That was for what? fifty. Fifty. Yeah, That's for 50. fifty. Dang, that yeah, was that a hard question for track. fifty. All right, so Tin, go right ahead. Reptile two hundred. Awesome. It was a pug pooping out an egg. No one else was blown away by that. The question is, what well-known celebrity has a turtle named after them? Uh. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Struck. This one's a difficult one. Or. Kanye West. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, gosh. No. Incorrect. Grimer? Michelangelo, the painter. He is the painter turtle. <laughs> no. Dang it. Uh, so, 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 you're not wrong. I'm gonna if give, it wasn't the answer. I'll give a, a give a. Actually, no. Uh, uh, you can't because there's only one person left yeah. to answer. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm here. Um, what was the question again? Which well-known celebrity has a turtle named after them? Uh, Angelina Jolie. Incorrect. What's that? What's the hint? What's the hint? Well-known celebrity Bob where? Ross. Actually, yeah. First, okay. yeah. First so is like worldwide known or? Yeah, I mean it's so it's an animal celebrity. Someone, so it's Steve Irwin. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So Irwin oh, has a turtle. It's called the Irwin's turtle. Oh. You learn something new every day. Actually, I learned a lot more than just one thing today. <laughs> <laughs> Everything could be named after Steve Irwin. Um, oh yeah. Um. So yes. the person at the least amount of points currently is Grimer. So yeah. if we want to give him a chance oh. to try to. Uh, yeah. Go right ahead. Ask for one. Oh, it's not gonna. I mean, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> uh, let's knock out reptiles for 250. Alrighty. This one's another one that everyone can answer. Alright, but Grimer, you get to say it first, oh okay? Boy. How many teeth does the saltwater crocodile have? Closest answer gets the point. Oh boy. Tim, what, what should I answer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Less than I did for the, for the eel. <laughs> 200. 200? Yeah. Okay. Uh, or skull. 120. Okay. Tinnikin. Um, I'm gonna say 210. Dang it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so the answer is actually only 66 teeth, so or skull gets the Ooh. point. Oh. <laughs> so or, you get to pick. Birds 50. This is true or false. Hummingbirds are the only bird that can fly backwards. I hit the wrong button. Oh, I'm so sorry. I missed. That was Grimer. One. True. True. Yeah. Is correct. Yes. 50-50 shot, baby. Woo! All right. Let's uh, let's knock out the birds column for 100. What is the fastest land bird in the world? Is it A, emu? Is it B, <laughs> roadrunner? Is it C, penguin? Or is it D, ostrich? Grimer. Ostrich. Is correct. Yeah! You'd think it'd be the Roadrunner, but those things are tiny. So, um, Grimer, go ahead. Let's go. Big comeback, baby. All right, uh, <laughs> can we go for. There's a uh, lot of tension going <laughs> on right now. <laughs> Mammals 150. <laughs> Mammals 150, all right. Ah! Ah! It's getting pretty violent. <laughs> oh up my there. god, I just turned around and, it, and someone's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that really unexpected? Let's be honest here. I am not responsible for any deaths. That oh, really? During this. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out a sword. <laughs> Which of these animals is not a mammal? Is it A. Bat? Is it B. Whale? Is it C. Sea lion? Or is it D. Shark? I think that might have been or first. Yeah. Shark. Shark, yeah, this one Dang was it. kind I knew of that one. Because, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Although, All despite right. being mammals, they do, most of them do give live birth. That is true. Or skull, go right ahead. Uh, Almost to the end. On the topic of sharks, aquatic 150. 
How do hermit, well, how do wild hermit crabs change their shells? Is it A, wild hermit crabs don't change their shells, they just grow into them. Uh, B, they fight over one another shell. C, they exchange shells. Or D, they scavenge for new colorful shells. I think that was our first again. Uh, D? D, they scavenge for new colorful shells? Mm-hmm. Is incorrect. Ooh. Uh, that was hard to tell. Maddie? <laughs> <laughs> they exchange them. That is, unfortunately, correct. Dang it. <laughs> Tin, do you realize I could have got points right there if I would have said the right answer? Oh, I wasn't, I'm so sorry. I wasn't going to. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely going to get that one wrong. <laughs> but I could have got it. There you go, Chancer. I was going to say they fight to the death for them. That sounded so cool. <laughs> um, so Tin gets to pick the next question. Let's do Mammals, Mammals 200. Mammals 200. Big points. Uh, let's say, is it possible for me to come back even? I, don't, I, I, I need to do I the math. I don't, think so. I don't think it is. There's only two mammals in the world that can lay eggs. Name at least oh, one of them. Tin. It wasn't done yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I was a little bit, bit early, so I'm not sure if this counts. Um, uh, it's the it's... platypus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the echidna. Yeah. The... All right. Uh. <laughs> Since they both answered, <laughs> should we <laughs> should we split the points? Jump in front of we, we could give each of them the points because okay. I mean they they were basic like so. Tin did it just like maybe a fraction of a second while you were saying the word, yeah. like the last word, and Grimer did it is like the second you finished saying that yeah. word. Yeah, and Brandon brings up a good point. I need points. <laughs> we could we could we could we could split the two hundred and give them a hundred each. I'll take it. And I'm okay with that. Oh right, yes, yeah. so they, those are both correct. So you I'm, each get a hundred yeah. points. <laughs> so there's only one left, and that's aquatic for fifty. So give me una momento. I'm gonna rack. I'm gonna do the points really quickly here and see where we're sitting at. Is there like a all final right, Jeopardy awesome. question at the end, or can we do <laughs> it the all? the fifty will even change anything. <laughs> yeah, no, probably won't. Yes, it will. This point. Tin with nine hundred points currently. Woo! Yay. Grimer with 700. A humble Yay. 700. Ooh. And Orr has 1,000. Yay! Ooh. Yeah, sorry, that one, that 200 <laughs> thing might have actually helped you. Sorry about that. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, since it's the last points, should we double There's it and make it 100 points? I didn't actually know it was that close. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I just thought I was going to uh, make it. Okay with that should we make, make it? Make it yeah, okay. Since it's it's the beer cap already ruined it for me. <laughs> Since it's the last point, uh, we're gonna make it worth a double, so it's gonna be a hundred points. Ooh. Okay. All right. If we guess it and get it wrong, can we lose the hundred points in this one? Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at Orskal. <laughs> He's got I a really, uh, uh, I actually uh, like that idea. Uh, so we're gonna play that. We're gonna do that. Grimer's not gonna get the button. <laughs> oh no, I'm just gonna get it wrong. Well, even if you lose 100 points and you lose 100 points, I'm still not winning, so I'm hitting this button no matter what. Is a coral an animal, plant, or rock? Grimer. Plant! Incorrect. Dang it. That's Tinnikin. A pl uh, an animal, oh, sorry. Oh, she, she said plant. She said plant. <laughs> animal, it's an is, animal. animal is correct. Dang it. So, Grimer, that is negative 100 points for I'm you. still on the board, though. <laughs> and positive uh, points for Tinnikin. I mean, let's be Ooh, fair here. That's kind of how it should have been anyway. Good. 100 points should have gone there. <laughs> so, right. we actually have a tie in this round. Oh, wow. Well, because of the double fight points? Fight to the death. That's the only answer. I'll get oh, out wait. of the way. Yeah, because of the double points, <laughs> Tin and Orr are both at 1,000. Well, that went about as well as I would have expected. I mean, seriously, I, I, I don't know much about animals. <laughs> but no, big shout out, big, big shout out to Mad Bulldog out there for building that uh, that really awesome Jeopardy stage. That was a fantastic build. Absolutely fantastic build. And also big shout out to Tinnikin. Oh my gosh, I have friends behind me. 
I'll deal with them in a second. Uh, and big shout out to Tinnykin and Oriskull for being great contestants. We did actually play one more round where, where uh, a random guy... Oh, they're burning on the, the magma blocks. <laughs> Suck it, pillagers. Uh, where uh, a random guy joined us also, but unfortunately he doesn't have a mic, and it became very difficult to try to edit that one together. But in the end... Tinnikin ended up taking home gold, Orskull got second, and Random got, got third, so I secured last place. <laughs> uh, you know, you'd think I'd know more about animals. I just don't. I just don't. I'm sorry. My brain doesn't work like that. I learn every time, every episode. I learn. I learn mainly from you guys. You guys actually feed me knowledge out there of what, uh, what the animals are like, the ones I'm building for and stuff. Yeah. I'm not an animal expert, by no means. <laughs> But again, big shout out to Mad Bulldog. That was an incredible build. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna go clean up the stragglers that maybe fell off the side of the uh, volcano back there. But thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode of Zawa. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit of a weirder one, a little, little different one. But you know, we have a whole server playing on here, so if people wanna do some fun stuff, we're gonna do some fun stuff together. Alrighty, guys, I will see you guys next week. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you later. Bye bye!